Okay, auscultations are a great way for the PCE to evaluate your cardiorespiratory knowledge. Now, there's a lot of contradictory information out there about, you know, which points should you do, where should you do them? So we're going to test your auscultation knowledge and see how you do on this practical station. All right, first question, what is the best position for your patient to be in while auscultating? Option one, patient seated on the chair, feet flat on the ground, leaning forward. Or option two, the patient is seated on a plinth, feet on the floor, the therapist auscultating behind. All right, the correct answer is option two. This is the best option as the patient is seated in a safe position. You have access to both the front and back of their lungs. Although sitting in a chair is not wrong, leaning forward to ask, access their back is not ideal. And make sure that if your patient is sitting on a plinth to never let their feet dangle while auscultating. All right, next question. What is the best breathing technique for your patient to perform while you are auscultating? Option one, long and slow breaths in through the nose and out through your mouth. Option two, long and slow breaths in and out through the mouth. The correct answer is option two. Have the patient practice a few times before beginning auscultation to ensure they are breathing correctly. Correct any poor performance and stay close to the patient in case they do get dizzy. Last question. Which of the following describes which areas you should auscultate? Option one, 11 spots on the front, and 14 on the back. Or option two, six spots on the front and 11 spots on the back. The correct answer is option one, 11 spots on the front and 14 on the back. If you are in the full practical course, we teach you what you should be verbally stating while auscultating each of these points and the exact location you should be placing your stethoscope. Remember to ask your patient about dizziness every two to three breaths. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for joining me.